grocery haul for a family of 12 living in New York City. I organize things by meal so you can see what we bought for each meal. And if there's things we already had in our pantry, um, I'm putting those out too, just so you can see the different pieces that go together to make each meal. Uh, Monday night, we are having lentil soup, that's tonight. And we have carrots and celery and bread and butter and olive oil, chicken stock, onions, salts, and we also like to have a salad with that. And these are the things we put in the salad dressing. And of course, we have to have tomatoes on our salad and we put sugar in the salad dressing too, and canola oil. So on Tuesday night, we're having pizza and we get our pizza crust from Trader Joe's. We have mushrooms and bell peppers and pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese and pepperoni. On Wednesday night, we have chicken soup and here's our chicken from Costco. We use Vegeta. I like the nature version because it doesn't have MSG in it. Um, we put some tomato sauce in the soup. We have some bell peppers and some carrots and some egg noodles and we have bread with that. On Thursday, we have tostadas and here we have our ground beef from Costco with some taco seasoning that we use in the beef. We use pinto beans for the tostadas. We have tostada shells and lettuce and cheese and sour cream. And we also make some fresh salsa in the food processor. On Friday night, we have chicken. We call it Tuesday chicken, but um, that's because my granny used to make chicken on Tuesday and it's a special like spice blend that she makes. I'll have to do a vlog about that. And we usually have homemade ranch salad dressing. And then we have some peas and we have salad and we have some white rice with that. On Saturday we usually have kind of an easy meal so we're having breaded chicken and spinach and we have some brown rice with that. On Sunday night we usually have some nachos. We usually make our own nacho cheese. We put some lettuce and we also put sour cream and we usually use the beans that we had for burritos that day and we also put some ground beef with taco seasoning in it. So this is what we have for lunch on Monday. It is tuna on ciabatta with some egg and some arugula and it's super yummy. The ciabatta comes from Trader Joe's and the tuna we usually get from Costco. Eggs are from Costco and the arugula is from Trader Joe's. On Tuesday we eat bean burritos. We put the black beans in the instant pot and we cook them for about 41 minutes on high pressure. We have just, um, tortillas, sometimes we have white, sometimes we have whole wheat depending on what the kids want. We get those from Trader Joe's. We have cheddar cheese, we get that from Costco. Sour cream and we usually, we usually like to make our own salsa. We put cilantro and jalapenos and tomatoes and sweet onion, and we put that just in the food processor and you have instant good fresh salsa. Put some salt and a little bit of lemon juice too. On Wednesday, we have pesto and we boil some noodles and we blend up our basil and pine nuts and a little bit of lemon juice, some garlic, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper in the food processor and it's just really good. We do toast our pine nuts, that's an important step. On Thursday, we have an Indian dish called dal and we use red lentils and chickpeas. We have to cook the chickpeas for about two hours on high pressure and these cook quite quickly and we saute that up with some canola oil and then we put some curry paste along with some um, cumin and mustard, black mustard seeds and an onion, which is important. And then we put the beans in after and we salt and pepper to taste. I guess we just salt, no pepper. Um, and then we top it with some parsley and we serve it over basmati rice. On Friday, we have bean burritos again. On Saturday, a few of the kids go to Juilliard and so we have just an easy packable lunch. We have sourdough bread, some ham, some sliced cheddar cheese, some mayo, mustard, and grapes, and we give them some tortilla chips. We also have some juice boxes, and they usually have some sort of a treat, like a cookie as well. And on Sunday, we have bean burritos again, just because that's an easy meal, and we're able to put the beans in the Instant Pot before church. We come back, and they're totally ready. After we put the beans in the Instant Pot and they're done, we put six cubes of frozen ginger and some salt. So I'm gonna show you some of the extra things we bought beyond what are for our meals. 
we got this amazing, astounding multi-flavor JoJo's. They're basically like Oreo cookies covered in some sort of chocolate, which is really good. <laughs> we got a Belgian cookie trio. We got some chocolate. I remember getting chocolate like this in France, so I'm sure this is good. We got some butter almond thins and some dark chocolate covered peppermint JoJo's. We got some apples and because there's just not a lot of fruit ripe right now, we got some pomegranates. It's quite a splurge because they're expensive, but oh man, they are so good. We got some crackers because sometimes when the kids are feeling under the weather, these crackers are really nice. And we got some bananas. We also got peanut butter from Costco as well as turmeric. And already in the fridge, we have some kombucha and some other types of kombucha. <laughs> You can see back there, we got the Costco giant thing of eggs. We got some pomegranate juice and six gallons of milk. And we got some smoothie fruit in the freezer. So this is what the kids normally eat for breakfast. We usually have cereal or oatmeal. We have flavored oatmeal or we have original oatmeal. Or if it's going fancy, we make the real oatmeal in the pot. Or sometimes for breakfast, we'll make eggs and toast. So that's what we eat in a week.